First up is the episode For Here or To Go, an episode where Mr. Krabs comes up with a smart idea to entertain customers. Attention, Krusty Krab patrons! Behold! The Krusty Krab presents our first annual Pun Seed Guessing Contest! Guess how many seeds are in the jar and when a. Sorry, a. Krabby Patty! I have a guess. <laughs> Plankton, you don't get to guess. Hey! Mr. Krabs has a cool little game going on, but the issue is he's discriminating against Plankton, which is gonna come up later on in this episode. But first, let's see if you guys can catch the first mistake on your own. You can't do that, it's not fair. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's me restaurant, and I can do what I please. I know you'll try to analyze that patty and find out my secret formula. Ah! You'll pay for this, Krabs. I'm calling the Focus Business Bureau. According to Article 57 of the Greasy Spoon Code, any fast food contest must be open to all customers. You have to let me guess now, Krabs. So here's the thing. Most of my longtime viewers already know, but there's supposed to be a path connecting the Chum Bucket to the Krusty Krab. We've seen it in numerous other episodes. You can see it in this clip right here, but they're directly across the street from each other, and there's a path. But in this one shot, shot, there's no path connecting them. There's a path in between, but yeah, definitely a mistake. And here's another one. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Mr. Krabs, it's awful. We're all out of buns. No buns? Dread the luck. Got a delivery for the Krusty Krab. Where do you want us to put these buns? Huh. Good thing I ordered us extra blah for the contest crowd. Now, I know some of you guys missed this one, but here's the issue. This table and barrel has like this white outline. It looks like they were like poorly photoshopped. It looks really rough and is definitely a mistake. And we've got one more that has to do with our boy, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob needs to clean the grill first. I cleaned it this morning. <sighs> Doesn't your spatula need a Line in or something. Nope, she's perfectly aligned. Direct your efficiency. Dude, what the heck happened to Mr. Krabs' pupils? This is actually somewhat of a common mistake in SpongeBob, and sometimes people try to defend it, but no, guys, this is definitely a mistake. Your pupils don't just disappear. Let's keep the video moving, though, and move over to our next episode. It has some crazy mistakes. Next up is a very hilarious episode, that being the episode Dear Vikings, an episode where SpongeBob writes a letter to Vikings, and they actually respond and show up. Check it out. I, like I said, really funny episode. Dear Vikings, I am writing to ask you guys about your lives and stuff. If you would take the time to answer all my neat questions, then that would be really swell. Your Majesty, look, a letter. How incredibly interesting. I must read it at once. Welcome to the Krusty Krab, may I take your order? Dear Vikings, our chieftain sent us here because we got this letter. SpongeBob, there's some Vikings here to see you. See, I told you, really funny. But what isn't so funny is the mistake hidden in this episode. It's very easy to miss. Let's see if you guys can spot it on your own. Regular, large, and the new Viking size. But Mr. Krabs, these are all the same size cup. I don't forget. Each participating patron who purchases any drink of our new Krusty Krab Viking Size Cup gets a chance to try on this genuine cardboard Viking helmet! Mr. Krabs, what's a Viking? Oh, well, uh, the Vikings lived a long time ago. So as you can see in this shot, SpongeBob has holes or pores on his sides, right? Because, you know, 
He's a sponge. But during this one shot of the opening, his pores are just gone. They're just missing? Talk about a mistake, especially when they were there literally seconds before. Don't click off yet though. This next mistake is crazy. The episode Sailor Mouth is a classic episode. Like if you haven't seen this episode, go watch it. It's so good. This is mainly due to the plot where SpongeBob is introduced to swear words. Here, take a look. Taking out the trash, taking out the trash. <laughs> Hmm. Dumpster writing. The voice of the people. Hmm, what's this one? Crabs is a... Huh? Crabs is a... Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Well, sometimes, but not recently. Nah, not that word. That word. <laughs> Now, due to SpongeBob not knowing that these new words are swear words, he goes to work and just begins to swear in front of customers. And this is where we can find our first mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it on your own. Hello, customers. Nice day we're having, huh? And don't forget to ask us to... The... Fry. It'll be our... Pleasure. Yeah, so when we first see this family of octopus, we can see this little guy over here. And as you can see, he's wearing like a red hat. But as the scene progresses, his hat magically changes to blue. At first it was red, and now it's blue. The mistakes in this episode don't end here, as at the end of the episode, Mr. Krabs gives SpongeBob and Patrick trouble for using their swear words. And as you can see, Mr. Krabs stubs his foot right here. But if you look, the foot that he's holding and like soothing is the wrong foot. When he stubbed his foot, he stubbed this one. As punishment for foul in the air in me restaurant with your foul words, you're gonna give the Krusty Krab a fresh coat of paint from top to but then the foot that he's holding is his left foot. Oh, my foot! What? Genius, what a rock and a bath! Can't just say I got a foot air! Oh. Definitely a mistake there. He's holding the wrong foot. You didn't even stub that toe, dude. Now I'm going to move on to the next mistake, but take a look at these clips from the episode. They're hilarious. <gasps> We're gonna tell your mom, Mr. Krabs! No, please! Not my mommy! Mama Krabs! Well, hello there. Mama Krabs, he said, and he said, and he said, and he said, I guess you scallywags have earned a glass of lemonade. Yow! My foot! Mother! As we all know, Krusty Krab employees are given a uniform to wear while working, that being this white hat with an anchor on it. Well, in the season 3 episode, Fear of a Krabby Patty, there are actually a few mistakes with these hats. During the scene where SpongeBob is dropping trays out of the chef's window, the anchor on Squidward's white Krusty Krab employee hat is missing, should be there. It does return after this scene to be fair, but it was definitely missing for a couple of frames. Here's a clip. How many days it's been, I lost track. <laughs> what the flim flam? What are you doing in here, boy? You're wasting all my fun! So this next episode, Gullible Pants, has three very complicated mistakes, so I'm just gonna get right into them. Here's the first one, let's see if you guys can catch it yourselves. 451, 452, 450. 454, 455, Like I said, this one is very, very complicated, so take a look at this shot. As you can see, Incidental 92 is eating with Incidental 51. They're having a nice meal together. But like seconds later, and now Incidental 92 is eating with a completely different fish. The other mistake is quite similar. In that opening shot, we can see Incidental 48 eating with Incidental 41. But then, seconds later, and now Incidental 48 is eating with a completely
completely different fish in seconds. So definitely a mistake, and there are a ton of mistakes in this one section. It's pretty bad. There's some crazier ones coming up though, so stay tuned. So as you guys can probably tell, I'm a little addicted to SpongeBob. I love the show. But in the episode Treats, Gary gets addicted to something, and it's really funny. Like, Gary is tweaking in this episode. Take a look. Oh, Gary! You got a big surprise coming to you. Snail bite! <laughs> Gary, that's an awful lot of snail bites for one evening. Are you sure you want more? Whoops, looks like that was the last of them, Gary. We're all out. <laughs> Gary, it is four o'clock in the morning. What exactly do you want from me? Yeah, like I told you, Gary is on one in this episode. Like, he is dying for more of those treats. Dude is tweaking out. So much so, guys, that I'm going to show a couple more clips because it's just so freaking funny. Here. Excuse me, do you have any snail bites? We need some snail bites. Oh, no, 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 no. Those sold out almost immediately. <laughs> oh, okay, Gary, I'm off to the Krusty Krab. Hope your day will be as fun-filled as mine. Whoa! Gary? Okay, okay, mistake time. So we have two mistakes in one scene. At one point, Gary shows up to SpongeBob's work, and if you look at his shell, his colors are the wrong colors. This is how his shell is supposed to look, but as you can see, they like flipped the colors by accident, which is definitely a mistake. Gary, what are you doing here? You're causing a scene! I know, you want more snail bites. Well, you could try going to the factory where they make them. Thanks a lot. This episode has one more. Take a look. Take a look at this map. This is a map of every pet store in the entire world. We've been to every single one of them, Gary. I can't keep looking, Gary. I just can't. Hey, SpongeBob! Are your snails still meowing? I know you guys caught this one. It's very straightforward. But SpongeBob's missing like his pupils, like the rest of his eye. It's, they're just gone and it looks really weird. This happens pretty often, but yeah. Let's move on to another episode. Our next episode is a SpongeBob classic. I'm talking about Krabby Land. This episode is all about Mr. Krabs coming up with a new scheme to get money out of kids on summer vacation. Here are some clips. It's hilarious. You see, boy. During the summer, the children are excused from their classes, a recess commonly referred to as summer break. I guess summer isn't coming this year. Hey, maybe they're all at that new playground over there. Playground! Learn away, me young customers! Just look at them, SpongeBob. So weak and malnourished, with nobody trying to sell them nothing. <laughs> Breaks me heart. <laughs> <laughs> the way you drove the boat, the lying on the ground was kind of cool. But that's not going to get these munchkins away from this playground. Unless... SpongeBob! You're just in time for the grand unveiling of Krabby Land! Here we go! I give you Krabby Land! Now, as funny as this episode is, it does have two mistakes that are very easy to miss. Another day, another dollar. Gee, I wonder what Mr. Krabs has been up to since I saw him last and then went home to do nothing of particular interest till this very moment. Huh? SpongeBob! 
So as you guys seen, Krabby Land is meant for little kids. But during this scene where we see like this big lineup of people waiting, we can see numerous adults incidentals. They're supposed to be kids, but the animators put adults instead, which was a mistake. Here's another one though, and let's see if you lovely people can spot it yourselves. They seem to respond to me being in pain. They enjoy other people's misery. This one is definitely easy to miss, but this incidental right here loses their eyes, well their pupils, not their actual eyes, but the pupils in their eyes for about like a second. It looks really rough, but stay tuned guys as I have some even crazier mistakes coming up. Next up is the episode The Hankering, an episode where we learn a very dark secret about Mr. Krabs. Eugene got the usual. He is one big steaming plate of chalk. Enjoy. Oh, I don't understand, Mr. Krabs. Oh, I suppose there's no hiding it, Boyo. It all started back in the old Navy days. Our supplies had been decimated. Oh, all we had left is chalk. I was starting to feel peckish. With all that flavor, sweet gamey, with a creamy, chunky mouthfeel. I've had a chum monkey on my back ever since. Yeah, this dude loves chum. So much so that it really gets him into trouble later on in the episode. And this is also where we can find our next two mistakes. Take a look at this first one, as there's two mistakes in one clip. Let's see if you can spot it. <laughs> I win! You get nothing! Okay, so for one, during one of these frames, Mr. Krabs' pupils are missing. And no, it's not because he's blinking, guys. Your pupils don't just disappear. And literally like two frames later, look at this one. There's something up with Mr. Krabs' eyes. His pupils are off of the actual eyeballs, which was definitely like another animation mistake. And there's even another one in this episode. To capture the natural bouquet of the chum, I made this batch entirely from old snail litter. <sighs> A little dry. Next! Ooh, I think you'll like this one. It's made from wishes and love. <laughs> it's too sweet! It's very easy to miss, but for one frame, one of Mr. Krabs' like, sleeves is red. It's the same color as his skin when I mean it's supposed to be blue like his outfit. Weird. The episode Trident Trouble is a pretty good episode. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I do like the premise of the episode. The setup's really funny. Here, take a look for yourself. Behold this idiot and beware, for Trident Trouble comes. No, the toppings haven't been prepped. I wish this lettuce and tomato would just cut themselves up. Let's do this! Can we go? <laughs> Now to be honest, this episode only really has like one mistake and it was hard to find. But during this scene where SpongeBob uses the magical trident to help this dude, well, take a look for yourself. Let's see if you can catch it. What's wrong, Grass? Why won't you grow? Talk to me. Yeah, it happens fast, but for about one frame, this dude loses his entire mouth. It's crazy. And this is a fairly common mistake, but it's, again, still a mistake. And I've got more. Next up is the episode Super Evil Aquatic Villain Team Up Is Go, which is a really weird title, but this episode's pretty cool. It's all about Plankton teaming up with another villain to wreak havoc. Take a look. Maybe what you need is to join a club or something. Meet new people, you know. Make some friends. Are you suggesting I forge an evil alliance? Um, something like that. I... That is an excellent idea. Man Ray, we meet at long last. 
And who would have thought to find you here, working a part-time job restocking vending machines? And now let us join in evil alliance. Have we met? I, Plankton, know of a secret formula. The oh-so-precious secret of the Krusty Krab. Once that formula is in our possession, we... <clears throat> I'm listening. Then together we will steal the formula, crush Mr. Krabs, and rule the world! <laughs> hey, the episode has a pretty good plot, and it's kind of funny seeing Plankton go and get Man Ray, but you already know it's coming. This episode has a mistake, and this one's pretty bad. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Going to work. I'm 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 going to work. Going to work, go, going to work. Um. Okay, so take a look at this fish. As you can see, she has eyes. But take a look at her during this scene, as her eyes are just missing. They just didn't draw her eyes. It looks really weird, and I kind of get it. It's a zoomed out shot, but damn, looks very bad. Let's move on, though. I've got more mistakes. Next up is a very hilarious episode. That being the episode Dear Vikings, an episode where SpongeBob writes a letter to Vikings, and they actually respond and show up. Check it out. I Like I said, really funny episode. Dear Vikings, I am writing to ask you guys about your lives and stuff. If you would take the time to answer all my neat questions, then that would be really swell. Your Majesty, look, a letter. How incredibly interesting. I must read it at once. Welcome to the Krusty Krab, may I take your order? Dear Vikings, our chieftain sent us here because we got this letter. SpongeBob, there's some Vikings here to see you. See, I told you, really funny. But what isn't so funny is the mistake hidden in this episode. It's very easy to miss. Let's see if you guys can spot it on your own. Regular, large, and the new Viking size. But Mr. Krabs, these are all the same size cup. And don't forget. Each participating patron who purchases any drink of our new Krusty Krab Viking Size Cup gets a chance to try on this genuine cardboard Viking helmet! Mr. Krabs, what's a Viking? Oh, well, uh, the Vikings lived a long time ago. So as you can see in this shot, SpongeBob has holes or pores on his sides, right? Because, you know, he's a sponge. But during this one shot of the opening, his pores are just gone. The, they're just missing? Talk about a mistake, especially when they were there literally seconds before. Don't click off yet though. This next mistake is crazy. Okay, and last but not least, I have like five or six mistakes all in one episode. And I gotta say, I love this episode. I'm talking about Feral Friends. Mm -hmm. Whoa! She's going on here. Oh, <laughs> Attagirl, <laughs> sissy. It, Look yeah. out, Bon. wild swimming fish. This episode has an awesome plot with the title zone turning all the different SpongeBob characters into like the real fish versions. And of course, the episode has a couple of mistakes. It actually has like five or six. Take a look at this first one. Stroke! Stroke! Oh! <laughs> hey, kitties! It's your old pal Patchy floating somewhere over Bikini Bottom. I'm just here for the buffet! Give me that! What do you think you are? A seahawk? I can't help it if I was born a predator! Buddy, I guess you're right. Can you ever forgive me? Shake! Okay, so there's a big continuity error in this scene, as when we first see Patchy, his hands are just bare. He doesn't have a hook on his hands like he normally does. But then, literally seconds later, and the man now has a hook on his hand. Definitely a mistake. We did not see him put it on. And let's take a look at this other mistake. Squirrely birthday, dear Sandy. Squirrely birthday to you. 
this one is kinda weak sauce, I'll admit, but when we first see Sandy's birthday cake, there's a squirrel on it. But then, during this one shot, the squirrel is just gone. Hold your breath, critters! Nobody's gonna eat you guys on my watch. Ow! So normally, Sandy looks like this, with her neck being brown, the same color as like her tail. But during one frame in this episode, her neck is white, which is a major mistake. And of course, I've got one more, guys. This one's spicy. So as you can see, Sandy has been turned into a squirrel version. And take a look at the squirrel in the helmet, it has a tail, right? Well, why does the rest of Sandy's body, like her suit, also have a tail? This is like a major mistake, and it's a, it's a bad one. Our next set of mistakes can be found in the episode, Can You Spare a Dime? An episode where Squidward quits his job, and well, this happens. He ends up living with SpongeBob and pushing it way too far. Spare change. Spare change, ma'am. Squidward? Squidward, is that you? I lost my job, my home, everything. Even your paintings? Nobody would take them, so I had to eat them. There, there. You can come live with me. Okay, but just till I get a job, one day, Two days tops. Nonsense. You stay as long as you need to. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I know he still isn't looking for work. Don't rub it in. Yeah, like I said, Squidward takes things way too far and kind of takes advantage of SpongeBob's kindness, eventually leading to these next set of clips. And there's also a mistake hidden in these clips. Let's see if you guys can spot it. It's about time you got here. Here you go, your majesty. I can't drink that. Why not? That lemon has three seeds in it. That's an odd number! Because when I need a job done, I get someone with a job to do that job! What are you saying? So here's the thing, this is how Spongebob gets to the Krusty Krab. He comes out of his house and he goes to the left. We've seen this in many episodes, right? The Krusty Krab is to the left of Spongebob's house. But in this one shot, Spongebob goes the complete opposite way. He goes to the right, which is definitely a mistake. Next up is the episode You're Going to Pay Phone. An interesting episode all about Mr. Krabs getting himself into some greedy trouble. Here, have a look for yourself. <laughs> Ooh, a quarter! <laughs> well, I have no power to retrieve your coin, but I can let you have the payphone for the low, low price of... free! But be warned, that payphone comes with a curse! Seems like a harmless payphone, right? Well, no, actually, it's pretty obvious that it isn't safe at all and that this payphone is literally cursed. The dude literally says it, and because of that, this starts happening. Listen up, happy customers. For the low price of a quarter, now you too can make that important call while you're eating that Krabby Patty. <laughs> Give away your Krabby Patties. Give them all away. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
What just happened? Yeah, this episode has a crazy plot, but did you catch the mistake that I showed? If you didn't, let me explain it. So as most SpongeBob fans know, the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket are literally across from one another. As you can see in this shot, it's shown in multiple episodes and is just established in multiple episodes. They are across the street from one another. But then, why in this shot, when we see across the street, is the Chum Bucket missing? It's just not there. So yeah, a mistake. And I've got another one. Let's see if you guys can catch this one. No, give away your money. Every last cent. Must give away money. <laughs> This one is bad because it's just lazy. So as you can see in this shot, in the Krusty Krab, there is the Galley Grub menu and the Order Here sign. I mean, it's been there ever since the show's first season, but during this shot of this episode, where is it? It's just, it's, it's gone. I don't know where it went. It's, it's just magically disappeared and this is a mistake. Stay tuned though, as I've got more. Oh boy, this next episode really packs a punch, probably because it's all about karate. Here, take a look at the plot. It's a really good one. Who is this intruder that fails to attack me? That's my friend, SpongeBob SquarePants. Whoa. You know karate? He doesn't just know karate, he is karate. Fuzzy's here to test me for the highest belt in karate. But Candy, you already have a black belt. Yes, but there's one even higher than that, the blacker belt. Gee, if you want a belt, you must earn it. Okay. But how can anyone ever truly know whether he or she is worthy? It is simple. I conduct a series of tests, and if you pass, I will give you a belt that shows you no karate. Like I said, the episode has a really cool plot, with Spongebob training to get his karate belts, and he does in the end. But at the same time, there's also a mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it. Yeah! Fry, sir. Ketchup? Oops. Oh! Sensei Fuzzy, are you okay? I was wrong about you, SpongeBob. You are now a karate master. Here. For me? You were terrible. Oh, yeah, no. Sandy, what's wrong with Fuzzy? I know what he needs. This one is really bad, but as you can see, Sandy's entire body like duplicates for a frame. And no, this isn't like an animation technique. This was a straight up mistake. And here's another one. Let's see if you guys can catch it. Boy, I can't wait to show Sandy my new karate move. Ah! Oh, Sandy! <gasps> Sandy's in trouble. Don't worry, Sandy. I'm coming to save ya. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this one admittedly isn't as bad, but um, why is SpongeBob's teeth yellow? A fairly common SpongeBob error, but it's still a mistake and it's still worth mentioning. And the one coming up in this next episode is crazy. The episode Best Frenemies is all about a new restaurant popping up in Bikini Bottom. This place makes kelp shakes and this begins to steal everybody's business. More importantly, Mr. Krabs and Plankton's business. And this results in the duo teaming up to try and get rid of this new place that's stealing their business. Now in the end, they succeed. But let's head back to this scene for a mistake. It's why you clicked on the video after all. While everyone is seen drinking their tasty kelp shakes at the Krusty Krab, the character Incidental 36's eyes are weirdly colored as yellow, when they should be white. Like I said, it's a small mistake, but considering that Incidental 36's eyes have always been white before this, I thought I'd mention it. Oh, also, if you look at Incidental 45 during this same shot, she was drawn with three arms and her bra looks to be duplicated. So yeah, this scene is full of mistakes. Alright boy, it's done! You're gonna suck the whole cup down your gullet if you're not careful! Uh, sorry, Mr. Krabs. It's just that these kelp shake taste so good! Kelp shake? Look around ya! Everyone enjoying a delicious. 
it's just kelp shake. <laughs> Our next mistake can be found in the episode Jellyfish Hunter. This episode is pretty dark, with SpongeBob creating a jellyfish condiment at the Krusty Krab that goes on to be a major success with customers. However, this comes at a cost, as Mr. Krabs catches on and decides to start abusing the jellyfish to get more jelly just so he can make more money. Yeah. Now in the end, Mr. Krabs lets all of the jellyfish free once he's forced to because he gets zapped by old No Name, but if we head over to this scene, we can find our next or last mistake. As a matter of fact, we can actually find three, as not only are SpongeBob's holes missing, but he's also missing his left and right legs. Yeah, well I guess a part of his right leg is there, but you get the point. <laughs> In the episode, The Pink Purloiner, Spongebob and Patrick go out for some jellyfishing. However, things get complicated when Spongebob catches way more fish than Patrick, and Patrick gets a little jealous. Spongebob is a humble man though, so he explains to Patrick that the reason he's gotten so much success is due to his signature jellyfish net, All Reliable. And Patrick agrees, while also mentioning he'd do anything to get his own. Eventually, all reliable goes missing, resulting in SpongeBob accusing Patrick of stealing it. And this pretty much sets up the episode. Now, in the end, it turns out that SpongeBob was wrong and accidentally left his net on the bus. But if we watch during this scene, we can spot a mistake, as when we first see the passengers on the bus pop their heads out, one of them is blue, okay? They're blue. However, once the bus leaves, they magically change into a yellow fish, thus making for a brutal mistake. They do this all the time! I'm serious, I... Ugh, oh, never mind. I'm staying in... Bikini Bottom! <laughs> Wanna go jellyfishing? I just got a new net! So did I. The episode, No Pictures Please, was actually the first occurrence of the title zone. It happened back in season 11. Here, take a look. The story you're about to see happened on one very weird and unusual day when the town crossed over into the title zone. On behalf of Tram's Travels, I'd like to welcome you to Bikini Bottom. I'd also like to take a moment to familiarize you with the area. The restrooms are to the left. <laughs> Hey, I have to go too! Wow! Everything is so amazing! Hello, are you the tour guide? <laughs> yes, I am! As you can probably guess, in this episode, Patrick works as this dude's tour guide, and they get into a bunch of trouble. But they also get into a bunch of mistakes. Let's see if you guys can spot this first one. This guy called me a bad word huh? once. You were trying to eat my mailbox! I thought it was meatloaf! Kids, escort these gentlemen to the door. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> we have begun our descent. Amazing! So look at this. This is Conch Street. This is the street that SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward live on. And as you can see, it goes Patrick's house, Squidward's house, and then SpongeBob's house. But in this one zoomed out shot, where is Squidward's house? Like there isn't that much space in between SpongeBob and Squidward's houses. So this was a bit of a weird animation choice by the art team and kind of a mistake. And I've got another one. Let's check it out. Huh? That's strange. <laughs> Sorry for the misunderstanding, everybody, but I didn't take any pictures today. I don't even have a camera. In fact, I'm not even here. Uh, uh, and we're backing away and backing away and backing away! I told you, things always get weird 
in the title zone. This one's easy, but there are two duplicated incidentals in this shot. Look, duplicated incidentals was a normal thing back in the day, guys, but in modern SpongeBob, they don't happen that often. So when they do, it is a mistake. And I've got one more episode to cover. Let's get into it. Next up is the episode Super Evil Aquatic Villain Team Up Is Go, which is a really weird title, but this episode's pretty cool. It's all about Plankton teaming up with another villain to wreak havoc. Take a look. Maybe what you need is to join a club or something. Meet new people. You know, make some friends. Are you suggesting I forge an evil alliance? Um, something like that. I... That is an excellent idea. Man Ray, we meet at long last. And who would have thought to find you here, working a part-time job restocking vending machines? And now let us join in Evil Alliance. Have we met? I Plankton know of a secret formula. The oh-so-precious secret of the Krusty Krab. Once that formula is in our possession, we... I'm listening. Then together we will steal the formula, crush Mr. Krabs, and rule the world! <laughs> hey, the episode has a pretty good plot, and it's kind of funny seeing Plankton go and get Man Ray, but you already know it's coming. This episode has a mistake, and this one's pretty bad. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Going to work. I'm 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 going to work. Going to work, go, going to work. Um. Okay, so take a look at this fish. As you can see, she has eyes. But take a look at her during this scene, as her eyes are just missing. They just didn't draw her eyes. It looks really weird, and I kind of get it. It's a zoomed out shot, but damn, looks very bad. Let's move on, though. I've got more mistakes. Our first set of mistakes can be found in the episode Plankton Retires, an episode where, well, I mean, the title kind of explains it. Here, check it out. Mr. Crab, did you see that? Plankton is retiring! Yeah, so turns out, Mr. Krabs has beaten Plankton down so much that this man, this evil little dude, retires. It's crazy, but hey, maybe there's a twist. Before we get to that, though, let's take a look at the first mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it. He covered me in urchins, fed me to a seahorse, and stung me to death. I have had his Oh, I think someone needs their papa. Don't you see? We're done here. He said for the nine billionth time. You know, Sheldon, if I had a dime for every time you... Okay, so here's the thing. When we first see Karen, as you can see, she isn't plugged into anything. There's no cable coming out of her computer body. But literally a second later, and look at this shot, as now Karen is plugged in and requires to be like powered, making for a really weird mistake. Here's another one. Just like this one, let's see if you guys can catch it without my help. How long will you be staying with us? <laughs> Forever. So begins my retirement. 